Are you freaking kidding me? What? Hello, people of the internet. I'm Jam Games, and welcome back to Civilization V. We were attacked by so long, for so long, by Persia and Brazil. Brazil is down here, and Persia is actually from a different continent. But first, they settled Bacarda, and then they took a, a Quebec city from us, which actually ended up helping us, I think. Um, but anyway, we finally made peace with Persia, and as soon as this dynamite is finished researching, we are coming after Brazil for blood. We are going to take Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, and that should boost us up in the charts big time. If this is your first time watching XCOM, thanks so much for joining me. Hello, new people. Um, but the XCOM, Civilization 5, geez, <laughs> getting my series mixed up, but uh, the playlist for Civilization 5 and many other things is on my channel, so you can go back to the beginning and figure out how we got here, what's happening in Delhi, who knows, um, and yeah, oh, <gasps> are you freaking kidding me, what, oh my god, God, okay, I don't understand why he's offering this to me, because I don't, I have like three military units, I'm not a threat right now, I'm going to be a threat, I don't understand this at all, best day ever, oh my god, we just shot up to second place, and in ten turns from now, we're gonna attack Brazil and take Rio. What? I don't understand. They're going to be in resistance for 18 turns. I don't really care. Actually, let's just... We have so much extra happiness. Let's just annex the city and build a courthouse. Right? What in the world? And I forgot to change London to default, uh, default focus. This is... This is like the best thing I've ever seen. I don't under... Like, okay, can we go through my units right now? I have two crossbowmen. And three and four. I... I don't get it. And he, he had... A, he was higher on the charts than me. And Sao Paulo is such a big city. Like, what? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't question it too much. Oh my god. This is amazing. Best day of my life. Ah, uh, Forge, yeah. I can't believe this. I absolutely can't believe this. Wow, when I said things were gonna go good at the end of the last episode, I did not know what I was talking about, did I? Okay, the price is up, Miss Elizabeth. Uh, five. That's unacceptable. Four. I beg your pardon. Oh my god, I hate her. Um, what's three times thirty? Ninety dollars? Oh, but we have to be friends. Okay. So, three gold. Whatever, I'll do it. Wow, best day of my life. Holy banana. This is Incred Look at us, we're in second place, guys. <laughs> this is so cool. And first place is our friend and our only friend, Casimir. Uh, no, we are not taking your embassy because we are going to declare war on you. And I don't think I want to give you anything for 30 turns. Well, it's going to take us a while to build up our military. So maybe that could work. Let's ask for seven gold per turn. And we'll give him pearls. Pearls? Okay, let's see if he does it for six. If he doesn't do it for five... Okay. <laughs> I can't believe this. And look how much land we're going to get with Rio. I... 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 <laughs> I'm speechless. And we probably didn't even get, like, a negative impact on other civilizations. Because we didn't conquer it. He gave it to us. Wow. Casimir, let's con like continue being friends. 
I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. This is the first time I haven't been at war in a long time. In a long, long time. Uh, trading route, Nottingham, York, Bacarda. We are obviously going to go to York. Wow, and we finally have five out of five trade routes. This is crazy. Craziness. Crazy talk. Crazy, crazy. I, I, I <laughs> can't believe our luck. I recommend you not get too close with Poland. Wow, he's friendly now. Cool. Um, we're sorry this caused a divide, but Poland is the only one who ever lend us a hand, and we are not going to turn that hand away. And he's more powerful than you. You couldn't even take Delhi. Okay, you want our gold? Of course, friend. Of course we're going to give you gold. Okay, I think he would do s for seven gold per turn, right? I'm guessing. So, uh, seven times thirty is two ten. Let's try two twenty. You know, instant cash. Why not, right? Nice. 220. Woohoo. Get my math worked out. I recommend you uh, neutral. Like, suddenly people are actually liking me. And it almost makes me second guess taking Rio. But that second guessing isn't going to last too long. We're going after Rio. <laughs> Everyone likes me though. I haven't had friends in so long. Okay, we are going after rationalism. We are going to increase our science. That's our next goal. Uh, since we just completed commerce, uh, improves your ability to generate science. Adopting rationalism will grant plus 10 science while your empire is happy. And I'm going to keep our happiness positive for as long as I can. And hopefully we'll never fall back into unhappiness. But who knows? And it's going to boost back up in 16 turns once Sao Paulo gets over. No longer being a part of great old Brazil. Let's actually look at the city. Let's see, do they have any wonders? Broadway. Very cool. We have entered, the world has entered the modern era. Uh, the voices of the nation. So now we're creating World Congress expands infrastructure. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Sugar from Shaka. Shaka, Shaka, Shaka. Okay, we were giving him gold, so we'll see what happens. Choose a host. Um, let's just keep voting for Poland, right? We don't have the votes to vote ourselves in, so let's keep Poland happy with us. Commit. And choose production in Winnipeg. A hydro plant? <gasps> we can build a porcelain tower. Um, fifty percent more science generated from research agreements. Uh, hydro plant. We're going for the hydro plant, and in Ottawa we are going to go for the porcelain tower, and we are going to rush that porcelain tower. So we are going to get it right away. Awesome. Awesome solves. Uh. Did it freeze? Oh. No. No open borders. But do you want to give us sugar for iron? And horses? Propose. Awesome. Sugar. Dun, 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 dun. We got sugar. Uh, he's denouncing us. I thought we were going to be friends. Oh, well. That's okay. The grim truth about you. Oh, it's very grim. It is grim because we are looking to take Brazil's capital. We have taken London's capital. And we are looking to burn your cities to the ground. So, it is a grim world. Wow, everyone's denouncing me at the same time. Just when I thought the world liked me. Triple denouncement. Fun times. 
Well, we got the porcelain tower, so denounce that, bitches. <laughs> Dynamite. Ooh. Rio is in trouble now. And we got a great scientist. Wonderful. And a writer. Awesome. I fell asleep so often. Filled with a vein. Okay. I would pretend to care about that and pretend that I'm deep and whatever, but... <laughs> that ain't happening today. Uh, purchase announced me. Denounced. Denounced. Treaty with Darius has ended. Special session of the council. Uh, Warsaw and Poland will be the next host. Okay. Great person born in our civilization. Persia has adopted a democracy. And in Montreal, we are going to build a harbor. Like, I almost just want to keep building buildings and ignore war. But, you know, war needs to happen. If our world is ever to function, war must exist. <laughs> I sound like a Republican. No offense to any Republicans out there, but I'm sure you'd agree with my statement about war, right? You love war. We thank you. See, he loves us, and we need to keep that happening. The only negative, uh, if you look at the red, is the promise we made to England, and that was way, way back in the day. So it's still affecting us right now, and it probably triggered everyone hating us. So we might have, like, one extra friend if we wouldn't have done that, but we might not even have London. Who knows? The most literate people. So this is how many technologies they have. We have 44, 50. So we're six behind the leader. And I think last time we checked, we were still six behind the leader. So that's why we're going after rationalism. And we want to pull ourselves up to the top of that list. And we need to make sure we attack Pedro before he researched researches dynamite. Although his two cities probably can't... Um, create enough units to deal with us. Okay, a temple. It's one turn, right? Right, guys? Come on. Come on. Come on. A lighthouse. I don't know what I want from you, Toronto. Barracks, yeah. Barracks, barracks. That happens every episode. What do I call it? Um, everything takes too long. And in light of that, we are going to start building it. Uh, everything takes so long. Van well, Vancouver is still a new city. I can't forget that. Let's build a harbor. Next turn. Vancouver is not going to work on our war efforts. They're going to work on, you know, building themselves up. Getting all good at stuff. Stuffs. That's just what you are. Bam, bam. City connection established. Ottawa. Oh, right. I already started building it all the way to this gold right here. And I guess the workers automatically completed it. Good on them. Um, here's the question. Do I want to build a road spanning between here and here? just for convenience sake. Uh, I don't know if it's worth spending the money because once we have this entire continent, I don't think we're going to be in too many wars. Uh, okay, back to Ottawa again. I want to build this even though no one has any good reason to steal from us because we're so low in the tech game. Um, I just want to have that anyway. To protect ourselves just because and uh, in two turns we'll start producing uh, artillery which I'm so excited for the excitement we broke the thousands did you see guys okay what does he want he wants copper from us uh, did you not just announce us or was that just me incense for copper that's the deal that's going to happen. Oh no, he's friendly with us. Okay, good. And they adopted order. We have to pay attention to who adopts what, because when it's our turn, we're only going to maintain 
friendships with people if we have the same ideology. Um, okay, those deals with Shaka are over. Yes, cultural, cultural heritage sites was passed. So I didn't look at our culture before, but I'm sure it got bumped up. And international games, right. Okay, so war is definitely going to be delayed for a little bit. Because we won the other research for the World Fair, and we are going to try and win international games. You um, add to Quince, right? Add to the Quince. Add to the Quince. International games. And we'll just go city from city like we did last time. Uh, Vancouver. How many turns until you complete this? Five turns? Yeah, we'll still do it. International games. London. University in one turn. International games. Sao Pablo. Who knows when they're com gonna complete the courthouse, but internet well no I'm not even gonna add it uh, Ottawa international games Toronto international games Montreal oh you're already doing international okay and oh and Halifax international games did that cover everyone yeah okay great and we are going to make a new proposal so what's been approved so far just cultural heritage site. So, huh. What am I thinking? I kind of want to embargo Darius, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, ban luxury, not really into that. Scholars in residence. Research of technology, 20% more. Now, this would really help us. And then we could cancel it later. But I feel like a lot of people would be angry with this. Huh. Natural heritage site. World religion. World ideology. Arts funding. Okay. Increases the generation of or science funding. I kind of want to go after science funding, to be honest. But uh, people should really know which direction they're pursuing with their country especially at this point of the game. But I still don't really know if I want to go for like a cultural victory or a domination victory. I don't really know. And historical landmarks, what does this do? I think we're just going to... What did I want to do? Standing army, natural, yeah, we're just going to do that. It won't help us, but it's just a safe proposal. It shouldn't piss anyone off. Because the other ones, I won't get the votes, and there's nothing I really want that I could get, you know? So it's just kind of a wasted one, but oh well. Open borders for $50. I can do that. I can do that for you, friend. Oh, this is continuing research. I wanted the ships. That's so important to me. Okay, let's open this up. Okay. Uh, what is our plan right now? What is our plan? We are currently researching radio. And we're going to keep researching radio. But then I want astronomy right away. Then industrialization, then archaeology. Does that sound good? Because it sounds good to me. Real good. Real good. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to go any further than that right now. A Brazilian spy stole the secrets of military science from Ottawa. See, people are stealing from me, even though I have no technology. Um. Let's publicly denounce him. Why not? That's our reason for declaring war on Pedro. 
it's because he was spying on us. <laughs> we never had any plans to steal Rio. Never. This is just a retaliation for his hostile movements. <laughs> cover up. Cover up our treachery. Cover up our treachery. Please wait. The turn's finishing. Council Wilfrid Laurier of Canada. 1818 AD. We're about to enter the modern era in one turn. That should be fun. William denounced us. I don't care about you, William. You mean nothing to me. Look at that. See the scores in the top right? We broke 100. You want to give us 7 gold, buddy? Ah, Fine, I'll do 6. Uh, I'm a money whore. I want to make as much as I possibly can, so... You know. Radio, radio, give me radio. All these wonders are already taken, and we actually have Broadway because we stole it from Brazil. Radio, welcome to the modern era. Happy days, and we got a new spy. What do we want to do with you, Mr. Spy? Um, huh. Let me think. Let me think, let me think. The Zulus are... Uh, I forget who was at the top of the tech tree. I wasn't really paying attention. Was it the Dutch? But we're already spying on the Dutch. Uh... Oh, actually, we do need to spy in Rio de Janeiro. Because artillery can shoot for three tiles, right? So if I put him here, one, two, three, he can hit the city. But they only have two tiles of vision, so he won't actually be able to see the city. But if we have a spy in the city, then we'll be able to see the city and hit the city and take the city. Or burn it to the ground. Publicly denounced you, friendship, peace treaty. We can now declare war. Okay. I see what's happening. I see what's up. Drinking my cup. Anyone? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. You just jealous that I broke the 1,000 mark, ain't you? Ain't you jealous, little man? Jealousy, jealousy. Here's another thing. If, if we're looking at the map, uh, I think there's three continents because there's water on the right. It might be a big lake, but here's our ocean. Then we have Seoul, which was Korea, but it's been taken. And then if we keep going, we have another coast over here where there's more uh, civilizations. So I think there's actually three continents. Before I thought there were two, but now that I've actually taken a second to look at it, I think there might be three. Um, Pearls to Casimir, Casimir has ended. Okay. We're down to five happiness. We just need to wait for that to go away in seven turns, and then we'll regroup. Because we're getting negative happiness from this and this. This will go away when we build the courthouse, and this will go away in seven turns. Um, England denounced the Zulus, okay. Oh, this is a big decision, okay. I think we 100% have to go with autocracy because our only friend is at autocracy, right? And that will let us win a cultural victory um, or a diplomatic, cultural, and militaristic. And those are the three I'm actually looking at. So let's do that. We have signed up to an autocracy. It'll make two people happy, but Persia's never going to like us. So it'll basically just make Kashmir, Kashmir, not Kashmir, <laughs> Kashmir like us, Kashmir the third. Welcome, great emperor. Yes, he's happy with us. Very happy. And he just entered the modern era. We beat him there, actually. It's funny. I think we're the last two people to enter the modern era. Um, but we're both in the top two positions. Uh, da, da, da. Friendship. 
research agreement, warning they're not to be trusted, blah blah blah, and Toronto starving. That is nothing new, I don't give a damn. Oh, negative four happiness, what happened? Ah, <sighs> dang Flabbit, it's okay. We'll be okay, give us six turns, and we will be okay. Uh, with that, I think we're going to come to the end of this video. Incredible things happen. We got Sao Paulo for free. Um, in the next video, we will be finishing the international games. Hopefully, we'll get first place. We'll see about that. And we'll definitely start building our artillery to go after Rio de Janeiro. So that is what's coming up. And then we will basically own the continent. And we will be happy and things will be good. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Leave me a comment down below, good or bad. I love them all, and I will talk to you back, I promise. And keep it jamming. See you guys. Bye.